you can see that I've got the cheese waxed. It's not the prettiest in the world, but it is waxed. I do like to uh, wax in a little piece of paper in with the date that it was produced and what kind it is. Uh, that way I don't lose track of what I have. But it's not pretty like I said, but it should be really, really good. Uh, I will put it in the refrigerator and the crisper. My crisper keeps a constant temperature, pretty, pretty much a constant temperature of between 50 and 55 degrees. Most time it's around 52 in the crisper. So I'm hoping that's going to be good enough for a cheese cave. But, like I said, it's waxed and ready to go in the go into the aging process. Uh, it's been a lot of work. The bad thing is I have to wait at least two months before I can try it out. So, I guess, since I've made two different types of cheeses, uh, the first one was a farmhouse cheddar, and this was a traditional cheddar. Uh, I'm going to have to wait two months to see which one is my favorite before I try to make any more. Uh, no use to make it if I don't like it, so uh, the cheese making has come to an end for at least two months. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.